Hey everyone, this is our sixth and final episode of season two of Gear Up here in Houston, Texas at the Houston Micro Center. And uh, wow, it is super hot out here. Let's just, let's go inside and start filming. I can't do this. I don't know what it is about Texas heat. It feels worse than Florida heat. I don't know how that's possible. This Micro Center has been a great home to us for the past two or three days. It's a shame it's coming to an end, but we are ready to kick things off. Again, this last episode is gonna be a cool one. We have our sixth and final contestant. His name is Lyle. No, not this Lyle, this Lyle. And remember, if you're a first time shopper, you can get $25 off your purchase of a CPU. Not too bad. So this should be a fun one. I have no idea why I decided to film like this. Just thought it would be cool, but I can't support my own weight now. Stay with me. To get rid of that annoying Windows activation watermark, head on over to VIP SCD key. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a fraction of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye bye to the watermark. And be sure to use our offer code SKGS for a so sweet discount. Hey Lyle. Hi. How's it going? Thanks for uh, coming out. This here is your rig, correct? Yep. And uh, it's looking a bit old about seven years old seven years old can you tell me a bit about it what kind of specs you're running uh i'm running a nvidia geforce 1060 three gigabyte i think and then uh intel i5 like uh what seventh gen yeah seventh gen That's i5 right. okay i had to replace the power supply at one point and i did upgrade my ram which is now 24 gigabytes. 24 gigs, okay, yeah. not too often you hear 24. That's yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to updating? Is there oh, something yeah. that you're like targeting specifically or is it just like the whole rig you just want to like, you know, what, what do you feel? Really the whole rig, the whole but rig? I guess the, a new GPU would be really nice. Okay, so that's, that's your main focus. I don't blame it. Do you mostly game with it? Yeah. Okay, 100%. all right. So we'll keep that in mind when we start the parts hunting. Okay, so we know where we're starting. We know where we want to end up. Now it all comes down to the wheel. Are you ready to spin the wheel? Yeah. I know he's looking at like, he said, where the hell's the wheel? I know, I know, I didn't bring it. It's a 36 inch mechanical wheel and I couldn't bring it on an airplane. So oh. we're gonna have to go digital this time around. I've got it on my laptop. I know that's lame, but uh, I made up for it a little bit because I changed a couple of the pie slices. So the big change for this season, apart from it being a lame digital version of the wheel, is that we've replaced the spin again tiles, if you recall from season one, yep. with add $100 tiles. So if you land on this, you'll be able to add $100 to whatever you roll after. So pl please, please be gentle. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, if you wanna drag the uh, mouse over to the center there, I'm gonna turn up the volume just so we got some, uh, yeah, some theatrical right. effects. Let's click it. Yep, here we go. There's, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, it doesn't count. Work. What happened? Oh, you know what? You have to re-roll. You know what? We had a technicality, and that <laughs> means re-roll time. Okay, Lyle, uh, take two. Uh, what we're gonna do for you, obviously let you spin again, and we're gonna give you the higher of the two spins. So you can't get lower than 800, but you do have a chance to score higher than that. And of course, the extra bonus tile still applies. So if you get the add 100 several times, you can add that to your score. So All if right. you wanna go ahead and click the spin button again. Let's go. How is it always hitting somewhere around that? I, I don't get it. I don't so get it. It'd be 800. It's better than it'd be 800 again. Hey, hey, it is what it is. You know what? Still a lot of money. I still think $800 is going to go a long way for this rig. And who better than to help us out with spending it than our good friend Isaiah here at Micro Center. So uh, Isaiah, what do you think we can do with 800 bucks? I think it's going to be <laughs> kind of a similar position we were in with several of the other contestants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's a couple different ways that we can go about it. Um, there's CPU upgrades, uh, motherboard upgrades, graphics card upgrades, like you said. Um, if that's the most important thing to you, then we can definitely focus on that. I think it would be pretty good to try to get a balanced build uh, going for you. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with open box stuff? Yeah, I'm fine with it. A lot of possibilities here, my man. We got, oh, look at this, aisles for days. Does it matter if it's Intel or AMD? I mean, I've only used Intel. You only mm -hmm. used Intel, and he does already have his OS installed on an Intel machine. For sure, for sure. So okay. might have some driver conflicts or things that you need to address mm -hmm. uh, with your drive if you swap to AMD without reinstalling Windows. Okay. That's true. So Just something to keep in mind. It's not the end of the world, but. Yeah, would I need a new case? Are the 40s uh, no. like bigger, right? So they are bigger cards, but mm -hmm. these yeah. are smaller ones. So you get one Gen 4 drive here, uh, which means that you could get a 980 Pro. So if you get a one terabyte 980 Pro right now, 
uh, it's five bucks cheaper when you get a CPU, right? So you're getting a brand new CPU. Uh, if you were to get this, it would be five bucks cheaper. They'll put you at 50 or five bucks, which is only $5 more than a drive that is half the speed of this. So you got CPU motherboard, a case, a cooler, uh, three fans, a 4060, a 980 Pro, uh, another terabyte storage from Inland, the QN322, uh, and you're at 70, $799.90. Look at that. They're saving me 10 cents. That's what I'm talking about. So you're literally saving the power supply, right? And that's it. So that's the that's only it. old thing in this rig, which I think is a good use of the money, honestly. Yeah. Very balanced system. Are the 12-4s on? Are they down there? Oh, sure. What is the 12-4s? 12-4. 12-4. 12-4. Hmm. Uh, was that what you wanted? <laughs> did you, did you I guess want the 12-4? I guess, I guess we, don't, we don't want that. I now. guess not. Uh, we changed our mind. So as it turns out, the 12400 is so popular, it's not even here anymore. So uh, we are rethinking everything. Uh, what, are we going AMD now? Is that what we're doing? I believe so. AMD, right? So like 5600, 5600X. Those are still like, I mean, just over a hundred bucks. Pretty good price. Still very relevant. Keep up with 4060 for sure. It's not a super powerful card. So I think they'll still be very balanced. So we uh, went back to the drawing board here uh, and it looks like um, there are a couple of really good AMD CPUs to go with. There she is, my friend. 600X, there you go. Look at that. Awesome. So we're still gonna go, uh, what, MATX, right? Indeed. So uh, is this a pretty good board here? Yeah, for sure. Fairly yeah, cheap as well. Prime board, yeah, for sure. All uh, right. That uh, has your two uh, spots for the storages that you were looking for. Um, uh, doesn't have Wi-Fi, but as we talked about, we don't need it because we're yeah. always wired in and we have a Bluetooth dongle and stuff like that. So uh, this guy uh, seems like a really good match for you. Do I need a cart? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> need a cart. <laughs> good point. Good point. I have a turn with your 4060. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very nice. You sir are one of the first to buy a 4060 Micro Center because it just came out today. Indeed. True. So I get to experience that. I know it's not the best card value wise, yeah. but it's the latest card, and you literally have like another rig that you're going to just be able to do whatever you want with. So you're starting from scratch. I think this makes sense. Uh, we have a case and a power supply to get. So That's right. Get so that way. so yep. we're only recycling DDR4, right? Mm -hmm. We've got, yep. uh, what, 24 gigs in there? So of the uh, power supplies that we looked at, right, there are a couple different ones that you could choose from. Uh, I think the ones that we were most interested in were the 850E. Uh, which is at 129, super, super solid. A lot of folks uh, picked that one. Yeah, a lot of, we have, we have, right? yeah, we have a lot yeah. of people come in for that one. And we always have to say these prices aren't always indicative of what you'll actually be paying. Sometimes they're older. Micro Center's changing prices all the time to remain competitive. So uh, yeah, 109 bucks and compared to 120 and 130. It's about a $30 difference there. Yeah, we also have the 750 from Corsair. Uh, so the 750M, which is a full-size ATX power supply. Uh, but it is semi-modular, so that guy at 90 bucks Ooh. is going to be a cheaper option for you, so I'll probably go with that. Ooh. And then last but not least, we got cases down oh, here yeah, yeah. Uh, that we can take a look at. There you go, 205M. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a sweet, that's a sweet case right there. And uh, is is that it? Is this finally everything? <laughs> this looks like it. <laughs> I think we have almost an entire build here. It was a tumultuous uh, yeah. process. Yes, we uh, yeah, we had, we had a whiplash a couple times, <laughs> but uh, look, you were flexible. Thanks for that, Lyle. Yeah. Really appreciate it. And uh, I still think you're gonna end up with a really good system, the uh, 5600X as your uh, CPU of choice or second choice, but still <laughs> a good option. Meanwhile, it's been like three hours. We're still in line. It's so busy here. Looks like Just it. Kidding. Yeah. But it has been <laughs> it's because Isaiah is doing no, books. So. It the oh yeah. For him. yeah. So we yeah. You know, hey, I didn't even see you there. I didn't know you were still here. I thought he I thought he bailed on us. Micro Center is busy like all the time. There is the checkout and uh, yeah, now it's time for the rebuild. So we're probably gonna take two of the four dims out. Uh, these are yeah. So the Corsair dims are the eight gigs. Uh, so if we take those two out, you'll have 16 in your new rig, and then you'll still have eight in this old rig, which I think is still fine for, uh, you know, an older kind of budget build. So I was going to set aside the old rig since we don't really need it anymore. <laughs> and uh, now we're basically just going to build a new rig uh, from almost, almost scratch. So it's still technically an upgrade. We're still upgrading his rig because we're recycling something. Even though that's not really a requirement of the series, I think it works well here. Just, just enough. Okay, so uh, it's been what, eight years? Seven, since you've seven. got seven years, okay. It's just like riding a bike, my friend. Oh, man. Pretty straightforward. I know it's a little odd that the uh, socket looks different than what you're used to. You don't have to push it, it'll just fall in when it's lined up. There you go. And back down. Mm -hmm. Look at there, see? Not too bad. It's gonna make a very cringe-worthy sound. Uh, just ignore that. You're not, you're not harming the CPU, don't worry. I see the spring, that's what it is. Yeah, the spring is definitely cringy. 
Very good. There's 16 gigs. Going in next is our 980 Pro. This is going to be your boot drive because this one is the fastest, also Gen 4 capable. Looking good. You got this, Lyle. See? It is literally just like riding a bike. Riding a bike. Not so bad. All right, so you can grab the uh, the whole platform here by this cooler. It, it probably feels a bit janky, but that's how you're, I guess, oh, wow. taught to do it. That's how we were taught to do it. And then uh, you can just slowly drop it in. You can use the rear eye shield as a sort of guide to align things. You know, this is gonna look super clean too, cable management wise, because we don't have SATA data cables. We don't need SATA power because your only storage drives are M.2s. Oh so yeah. So that's gonna clean things up in the in the rear. That's, yeah, I mean, this is gonna be a lot simpler. Uh oh, my battery's almost dead. Uh, so oh. we just spent about 15 <laughs> minutes cable managing. We don't have any need for SATA power or anything like that. So uh, now we can install the graphics card, wrap things up. Yeah, maybe not the most graceful peel, <laughs> but it's something, we'll take it. And uh, not too large a card either. Again, these are fairly efficient and they are brand new practically. So we can get the uh, two slots we need out of here, slot it in, power it up. So we'll line it up like this. Oh, and then, okay. okay, now go ahead and give her a nice big tug there. There, there you go. go. Yeah, a little bit of force. Oh, that looks so good. Wow. What I really like about MATX is you don't have a lot of wasted space, especially with a card like this in there. So uh, yeah, that's nice and compact. Oh, Got it there? Yes. There you go. All right, looks good. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That is all we need to do. Yeah, we'll tuck some cables in and uh, just admire from the side here for a second. Wow, it looks pretty darn good. I do need to tighten things down. Oh yeah. Yeah, that case looks uh, a lot better than your old one. <laughs> and uh, everything inside looks super clean, super new. So Lyle, that was uh, quite the experience. Uh, took a while to kind of figure out what we wanted to do. Again, not your fault. I think uh, turned out really nice for 800 bucks. You really did well to maximize your budget. Mm -hmm. Got a 4060 in here. I know you might get some flag in the comments just because people are uh, they're looking at value and whatnot. But when you're buying new in a store like Micro Center, it's, it really is actually, a, I think, a, a good choice for a brand new overhaul of the build. So here's our portable monitor. We've got things hooked up. I did confirm the power strip is on this time. I swear, somebody's messing with me because that's been turned off manually the past like four episodes. Anyway, if you want to do the honors and flip the switch at the rear here, power supply, and mm -hmm. then we can power on up front and let's see what happens. Let's see. Okay, and then right here, flip the button up front. Do we have light? Yes, we have lights. That's always a good sign. And we're looking for a post. That was just the splash screen for the uh, monitor itself. We're waiting for signal from the system. <laughs> just keep going, just keep going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least nothing eventful was happening. It is what it is. It's a busy store, busy day. Something's wrong. Uh, okay. Mm, first. <laughs> anyway, uh, BIOS update. Is this board compatible with 5000 series out yeah, of the box? From the, yeah, from the, okay. from the factory. Okay, yeah. so that's not our issue. A few moments later. I mean, of all places to have a PC problem, I guess you're in good company here, right? So uh, we actually did manage to figure it out and I think it might've just been a RAM seating issue. So we do have a post, there's no Windows uh, partition on either of these drives, obviously because they're brand new. It looks really clean. I know you're not the biggest fan of RGB, but of course you can always change these later yeah. uh, via your motherboard's uh, software, so. Yeah, looks really, really good. Oh, that was very nice. That was so graceful. You've done this before. <laughs> and there we have it. Lyle, what do you think? How do you think the rig turned out? Uh, took a bit, but yeah, it I'm did take a bit. <laughs> pretty satisfied. Yeah, yeah. What's the first game you're gonna play? Diablo 4, honestly. Nice. I am nice. excited to play without stuttering at least. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There should be a night and day difference. That 4060 is great, and uh, you can take advantage of DLSS obviously in some games as well. That'll help bump the uh, frame rate up a bit. Uh, so just the yeah, perks of going with NVIDIA at this point. But uh, that combined with the 5600, 5600X, right? 5600, yeah. Yeah, so I think you'll be perfectly fine. It's a balanced rig as it is. Mm -hmm. And you've still got some room for upgrades. You've got a nice power supply in there as well. That should serve you well for years to come. So uh, awesome. really appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for coming out. Uh, <laughs> nice. That was a long week. I'm really grateful to Micro Center for allowing us to film not four, but six episodes this time for this season. I wanted it to be a little more, I don't know, juicy for you guys. I feel like four videos per season is a, it's a bit lacking. Uh, maybe there's not a ton of substance there, but I think we had enough diversity this time with the builds 
that, uh, that it worked out. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to do this again. So if you enjoyed this series, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and uh, let us know in the comments how you felt about it, where you'd like us to go next. If we can do this again at another micro center, or heck, it doesn't even have to be micro center affiliated, but maybe we go to a different location and just set up shop in a parking lot somewhere. It would be a great chance to meet all of you and to upgrade some rigs in the process. So again, big thanks to Micro Center here and big thanks to the guys who work specifically at the Houston Micro Center. They were awesome, especially Isaiah. Isaiah, if you're watching, you were a huge help and uh, a big part uh, of this entire season. You, you helped transform rigs and uh, make people's days and that, that's, that's awesome. I'm glad we could play a small role in that as well. So uh, again, I'm looking forward to doing this, hopefully in the future as well, but I'm grateful that you were able to watch this season with us. But for now, we'll catch you in the next one. My name's Greg. Thanks for traveling with us.